Good morning, everyone. It's Phil Wade from Dalton Wade Real Estate Group, and today I'm joined with Bill Minette. Good morning. <laughs> and Rob is uh, holding the phone. And today we're going to talk about um, internet buyers and, uh, and winning, winning them over. Um, so, you know, typically you get that internet lead, inter uh, Zillow, Realtor.com, two primary sources, and you know, um, you're going to call them, text them, email them, and uh, if you do, you know, make contact, um, oftentimes a uh, common, common question or common response from them is, are you the listing agent? Um, just to give you a little background, so on Zillow, 85% um, of the people uh, responding, calling, or clicking are clicking the default. Um, option so they're not actually picking a specific agent to contact they're just saying contact agent and oftentimes because of that they think it's the listing agent that they're going to be put in contact with and then on realtor.com how that works those leads are where the listing agent hasn't paid realtor.com uh, so if someone clicks on that listing uh, because the listing agent hasn't paid them they sell those uh, they sell those um, inquiries leads to either one or two other agents. Again, kind of leading to the consumer in both cases, Zillow and Realtor.com, thinking, you know, they may be contacting the listing agent. So oftentimes you'll get that question when you're speaking to them, or even if you set up the appointment and you're meeting them, they'll think you're the listing agent, you know, for that property. So how do you overcome, you know, that, that, um, that objection so or that question so you, and you really have because it, it happens a lot um, you're going to hear that if you're working internet leads so you want to be ready with with the answer so the answer or the response is that um, are you the listing agent well and you tell them no I'm not the listing agent but um, why you need me is the following the, the seller has representation don't you think in probably your biggest financial transaction you need to be uh, represented the, the listing agent wants to sell you only that property because they're going to make double the commission um, or at least significantly more than if they have to co-broke it so they're very very incented to in other words slam that property down your throat um, I remember when I was up north working I went on a listing appointment and unfortunately the guy was you know significantly underwater on the property he would only been there like a year and I said, well, you know, how did, uh, you know, didn't you have a buyer's agent? And he said, no, he dealt directly with the listing agent. So it was a case where, again, the listing agent, you know, probably not purposely, but took advantage of him. He overpaid, and, and it was a problem for him going forward. So they, they don't care if you overpay. Um, you, as the buyer's agent, um, are not going to let that happen because you're going to tell them you understand the market you understand what prices in that specific area should be and that this house is actually a good value and you're not, you know, overpaying for it. So you're going to help them make sure they don't overpay. Um, so that's, and you're going to tell them also you're going to negotiate very hard on their behalf. Again, you represent them. The seller's agent represents the seller. Um, so again, it's to their advantage to use their own independent real estate agent. Um, so in addition to negotiating cards, you're going to protect their good faith deposit, make sure that that doesn't get lost. You're going to help them with your lenders, your inspectors, your whole network of professionals. You're going to bring to the table for them. You're going to make the process stress-free and smooth. Um, and it doesn't cost them anything. It, the seller is paying for that commission. A lot of times people think, oh, if I deal with a listing agent, I'll get the house for less. Um, no, the contract, um, and, and tell your buyers this, the, that listing agreement is already signed. It's already spelled out what they're getting. You know, unless there's a change and the seller's willing to, selling agent is willing to take less, um, that theory doesn't hold. So there's so many good reasons why they need a buyer's agent. Um, it, it's, it just should roll right off, um, um, you know, it just should roll right off your tongue. And then, you know, so once you've kind of told them that, the next thing out of your mouth should be, you know, when are we going to go look at some properties? And you should have won them and been able to, um, um, you know, help them understand why um, you're the best value out there for them, why in, in the end you're going to be able to buy that house for less 
you're going to make sure they don't overpay, you're going to make sure their good, good faith deposits are protected, and the whole process goes much, much smoother. So that's, that's the reason. It's, it's, it's all very, very legitimate. It's, it's honest. Um, and you're really trying to help them. So you need to be prepared um, if you're going to work internet leads for that question. You will get it. You can get it when you're speaking to them. Um, or you can also get it when you're actually meeting them at the property. So, Bill, any, any questions? Nope. Rob? Nope. Uh, have you ever gotten that question from, from folks when you guys both work Zillow leads? Have, has that ever come up? Uh, yeah, just, just this past week, actually. And the, the, it was a Zillow lead that came in, and she said, um, oh, you're not the listing agent? And I did exactly that. I said, no, was there anything specific you wanted me to find out about the property? You know, um, because the listing agent is working for the seller, I said, and with, by you working with me, you'll have separate representation, and I may be able to find out more information about the property than you could yourself working with the listing agent. And um, she's like, okay, great, that's wonderful. And we just move forward, put the deal together, and now we're just waiting to close. Nice, nice. So, yeah, there is, there is a very legitimate uh, rebuttal. Um, and it just needs to roll, roll off your tongue. So any, uh, any questions, anybody watching on, uh, on Facebook? No questions. Nope. All right, well, thanks so much. And uh, we'll be back next week with another relevant topic to help you be a better real estate agent. Thank you.